Right friends, welcome back to New City Glance for 42nd week. The first one, our Vice President Hamid Ansari visited two countries, Algeria and Hungary. Algeria is towards North Africa and Hungary is a European country. And please don't forget, Algiers is the capital of Algeria and at the same time, Budapest is the capital of Hungary and Budapest is on the banks of the river Danube. These things please don't forget. And two agreements were signed when our Vice President visited Hungary. And look into the next one. SR Group decided to sell 98% stake in SR Oil as far as Vadinar Port. You may ask, where is the Vadinar Port? Please look into this slide. Vadinar Port is situated in Gulf of Kutch. If you look at Gujarat, two things are very important. Gulf of Kambay or Gulf of Kambath, that is one side. And on the other side, it is Gulf of Kutch. And this Vadinar Port is situated in Gulf of Kutch region. And this port infrastructure as well as retail network of over 2700 outlets and 20 million ton per annum Vadinar refinery. All these things will be sold to a consortium of uh, Rosneft as well as Trafigra and United Capital Partners. Rosneft is the national oil company of Russia. So the companies belongs to Russia. Please don't forget Rosneft, Rostec, Rosatom. These are all the companies belonging to Russia. And at the same time, Roscosmos is the space agency of Russia. So these things please don't forget. Here the SR group decided to sell 98% stake in SR oil and Vadinar port and the remaining things I have given here. It constitutes India's largest FDI through strategic divestment of a private sector company. Right? Now SR group has got a huge debt burden and a part of the debt burden will be paid back. So it will facilitate pairing of debt by the SR group to a larger extent. Look into the next one. 10 billion dollar Tapi pipeline. Please look into this map. Tapi pipeline is from Turkmenistan right up to India. It passes through Afghanistan as well as Pakistan. And finally, the financial closure is expected to be completed shortly and it is a long delayed project and the most critical aspect is some of the areas are infested with violence by Taliban and other insurgent groups. Look into the next one, wholesale price index for September 16 was at 3.57% and consumer price index at 4.31%. And now the gap between consumer price index and wholesale price index narrowed to less than 1%. The other aspect is the Reserve Bank of India considers consumer price index as far as its monetary policy is concerned. And wholesale price index base year is substantially old around 12 years back. Whereas the base year for consumer price index is just 4 years old. Other things, who releases what, I have given here. Please go through it. Wholesale price index is released by Ministry of Commerce and Industry, that is Office of the Economic Advisor. Whereas, Consumer Price Index is released by Central Statistics Office, which is under the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. The Central Government filed affidavit in Supreme Court that the practice of polygamy and triple talaq should be done away with. We are going to deliberate on this aspect in capsules shortly. And All India Muslim Personal Law Board is not happy with the development and it is against the government's effort of it. And some Muslim organizations are fearing because government has got a hidden intention of ensuring uniform civil code in the country. And if you look at the constitutional aspects, Article 14 talks about right to equality. 
Article 15 one says that there shall be no discrimination on the basis of sex and Article 15 3 enables the state to make special provisions for women and children. Look into the next one. Bangladesh and China agreed to elevate their cooperation to a strategic partnership and the visit to Dhaka by the Chinese president occurred after 30 years and altogether 26 agreements on different sectors were signed and it is clear that Bangladesh is seeking cooperation from China as far as financial assistance is concerned. Look into the next one. The central government decided to utilize the vast network of post offices across the country to sell subsidized pulses. Basically, to ensure no shortage of pulses during the festival season. And please don't forget, in India, we have more than 1.5 lakh post offices spread across the remotest parts of the country. That means the post offices in the country covers even the remotest parts of the country in addition to well-populated areas. Look into the next one. World Egg Day was observed on 14th October. And the institution which looks at nutrition, that is National Institute of Nutrition, is headquartered in Hyderabad. This one, please don't forget. And at the same time, India is producing 83 billion eggs per annum. 83 billion eggs per annum. And per capita availability is just 63 eggs per head per annum. And as per the National Institute of Nutrition, the minimum requirement is 180 eggs per capita per annum and we are falling short abysmally and egg is a good source of protein, vitamin A, B6, B12, amino acids etc. Look into the next one, China launched a manned space mission. Two astronauts were on board the Shenzhou 11 spacecraft and it blasted off from Jiangquan Satellite Launch Center in Gobi Desert. And here, one important aspect is Gobi Desert is situated in two countries, China and Mongolia. Please look into this map, this aspect, please don't forget. As per the news reports, India inducted indigenously built strategic nuclear submarine INS Arihant into service. And with this, India joins a select group of countries which have nuclear triad. As per the available news reports, India is the fourth country to have nuclear triad. The first three countries are United States of America, Russia, China and India is the fourth country to have nuclear triad. You may ask a pertinent question, what is meant by nuclear triad? This is capability of delivering the nuclear weapons in three ways. Capability of delivering nuclear weapons in three ways. The first way is delivering nuclear weapons by aircrafts. All of you are familiar with the Sukhoi 30 MKI that has got the capability of delivering nuclear weapons from airspace. So that is the one capability. The second capability is Agni type of missiles. Agni type of missiles, India tested Agni 5. Agni 5 is intercontinental ballistic missile. So, Agni type of missiles can be fired from land. And now the third one is this INS Arihant. This has got the capability of launching nuclear weapons from sea. That means from submarines, nuclear weapons can be launched. So, these three capabilities are known as, in a nutshell, as a nuclear triad. Right, friends, INS Arihant was recently commissioned and it took almost three decades for its commissioning. Look into the next one. Recently, Kudankulam Nuclear Power Project second unit was dedicated to the nation. So, with this commissioning of first unit and second unit completed and at the same time when Russian President Vladimir Putin visited India, foundation stone was led for units 3 and 4 
and at the same time with the commissioning of second unit india's nuclear power capacity reached 5780 megawatt but if you compare it with other countries united states of america has got the installed nuclear power generation capacity of 1 lakh megawatt france has got 63000 megawatt japan 40000 megawatt china 30000 megawatt and with the commissioning of second unit at kudankulam india's capacity reached 5780 megawatt it is abysmally low in comparison to other advanced economies the supreme court extended stay on the commercial release of genetically modified mustard crop till further orders this gm mustard was developed by delhi university and it is into the news recently government is about to clear it and genetic engineering appraisal committee which is under the ministry of environment forest and climate change is the nodal authority for giving clearance and deepak pentel is the scientist associated with the development of this genetically modified mustard and already gm cotton is being cultivated extensively in our country and now if government gives approval this gm mustard will become the first food crop in the country to get approval look into the next one the prime minister inaugurated three major hydro power projects in himachal pradesh the three power projects one is the coal dam dam hydro power project second one is rampur hydro power project please don't forget these two are on satlas river and one is 800 megawatt that is coal dam dam hydro power project the second one is rampur has got capacity of 412 megawatt and the third one is parbati hydro electric project on parbati river and it has got 520 megawatt capacity and if someone talks about the coal dam dam hydro power project this is on satlas rampur hydro power project this is also on satlas parvati hydroelectric project on parvati river look into the next one during april june 2016 period gross fixed capital formation this is one important macro economic parameter when you look at the growth of the country gross fixed capital formation shrunk by 3.1% basically gross fixed capital formation indicates investments in plant and machinery development of land as well as purchases it is important macro economic parameter and when the gdp growth is around 7 to 7.5% it is not understood how this gross fixed capital formation has shrunk telecom regulator recommended a penalty of about 1050 crore each to airtel and vodafone as well as 950 crore to idea cellular what is the reason the reason is telecom regulatory authority of india came to the conclusion that the telecom companies deliberately denied interconnection to reliance jio look into the next one india and china carried out a joint army exercise in eastern ladakh region of jammu and kashmir for the first time so for the first time in india in jammu and kashmir this sino indian cooperation 2016 joint exercises were held and this one day long exercise was held with the theme humanitarian aid and disaster relief or hadr right friends look into the next one international day of the girl child was observed across the world on 11th october 2016 theme is girls progress is equal to goals progress what counts for girls and it was instituted by the united nations general assembly in december 2011 observed for the first time in 2012 union government launched mining surveillance system a pan india surveillance network to check illegal mining to check illegal mining activities by using the satellite technology and in india there are about 3843 mining leases of major minerals and this surveillance network using satellite technology was developed by Indian Bureau of Mines as well as BISAG Gandhinagar BISAG means 
Bhaskaracharya Institute for Space Applications and Geoinformatics. This is situated in Gandhinagar. Indian Coast Guard recently commissioned fast patrol vessels Aryaman and Atulya in Kochi, Kerala. And these are built by Kochin Shipyard Limited. And these are the 18th and 19th in the series of 20 fast patrol vessels. And Indian Coast Guard was established on 18th August 1978 under the Ministry of Defence and it has got jurisdiction not only over the territorial waters but also over the exclusive economic zone. And here from this slide, it is clearly evident exclusive economic zone extends up to 200 nautical miles and beyond that it is international waters and shipyards in public sector i have listed out here under ministry of shipping as well as ministry of defense please go through this slide ins virat will become a museum at visakhapatnam coast this INS Virat, the world's oldest aircraft carrier, was accorded the grand send-off after five decades of its service. INS Vikrant was decommissioned long back. Now INS Virat is going to be decommissioned. After that, in India, only one aircraft carrier will be there in operation, that is INS Vikramaditya. And if you want more information about INS Virat, it was originally HMS Herms and it was commissioned into the British Royal Navy in 1959 and India purchased it in 1986 and commissioned into Indian Navy as INS Virat in 1987 and it has got 1500 rooms and has got conference hall which can accommodate 500 delegates and Navy agreed to hand it over to Andhra Pradesh government after its decommissioning and AP government will use it for tourism at Vizac coast. Right friends, with this let us conclude the news at a glance. Have a nice day. Thank you.